Well, good morning. Just uh, leaving Venice now. It's uh, 9, 10 in the morning, a bit later than I would have liked, but it takes, uh, it takes a bit of time to get out of uh, Venice. Parking was 36 euro. It's an expensive place. Nothing is cheap here. It'll cost you 10 euro here and 15 here and 20 here. It's expensive. My feeling for uh, Venice is that it's a beautiful place and there's a lot to see and it's good fun walking around but my god the service is so bad I can't even begin to describe it. And I think it's because they have so many tourists coming to Venice that if for example, you're the Trinity Badly and you were pissed off, it wouldn't matter to them because the next customer will be coming anyhow, regardless. That's the sense I got from Venice. And anyone could argue that. I'm sure everyone's experience is different, but that's what I found uh, in Venice. And that not was, wasn't always the case, but my God, for the majority of the time that I went to restaurants and things, they couldn't give a shit. In any case, today, yep, I am heading out to Milan. So Milan is uh, two and a half hours from here. And I'm just gonna have a look at Milan and then from Milan, I'm going to go to uh, Como where I'm staying in an Airbnb overlooking Lake Como. It should be an amazing view. Uh, everything I've seen from the pictures uh, of the website looked amazing and dying to show you Lake Como. So, uh, big day ahead, uh, it should take another, at least an hour in Milan and probably another hour to get up to uh, Lake Como minimum. So, a big day and uh, looking forward to showing you. Okay guys, ciao. Alright, um, I'm an hour out of uh, Venice, I'm probably another hour to get to Milan. I am down to one trigger on my uh, fuel stop, which is less than I should ever do and uh, trying to find a fuel stop has just been impossible so hopefully there's something coming up soon otherwise uh, here we go is that a fuel pump yes so another kilometer so I'm feeling a bit more comfortable now I haven't done much vlogging on the uh, this section of the road because to be honest with you there's not a lot to see it's uh i'm not saying it's boring but it's a lot of vineyards and what you see right now is you know what i'm seeing as well it's just uh roads not not a lot but definitely definitely need to stay in the right lane here because i'm gonna need petrol oh it's a savior when you see it oh, here's a tip when it gets to two find the nearest petrol station don't even wait for one it's too much, it's too much stress. Oi. Here we are. I'll go through this way. Hopefully I won't hit anyone. There we go. Such a bloody blessing when you find a petrol station. There we are. Almost uh, in the middle of Milan. I actually typed in Hilton Hotel, found the address and then typed that into the GPS because this thing won't tell you GPS of uh, Hilton Hotel. But uh, I'm getting the gist of it. It's a big city, old and new, a bit of both here. It took me uh, quite a while to get into the middle of the city, uh, only because I wouldn't have a clue where it'll go to, but uh, next time just type in Hilton Hotel. Get the address and chuck that in. It's really, uh, really big. Oh, we have something similar in Sydney. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty different. Oh, 
Well, that's impressive. Mini hotel as store. So, no idea where I am, but yeah, we'll work it out later. See comments. <laughs> this is just a massive city, I tell you. I just want to hang around here for a bit, if I can find parking. No, can't go up that way. Air all full. Try here. Perfect. That'll do for a bit. Well, that great big building I went past, which I'm inside of, is actually a train station. It's a, a massive, massive, probably the biggest train station I think I've ever seen in my life. Like, level on level on level. Bit of an Apple thing going here. But is that not the most impressive train station ever? That's towards the city. It's a Saturday, so I don't think it's as busy. Except for in there. That's busy. Well, I've come to uh, check my GoPro and found a lot of the material it doesn't have the voice on it, which means the microphone didn't work, which is annoying. The other amazing thing is I'm in Milan and I've left this on the uh, motorbike and it's still here when I got back. This is the number one pickpocketing uh, city in the world. I think in Europe. What about the world? There you go, that was lucky. Anyhow, only a quick break in Milan, just something to eat, go to the bathroom, have a look around. Uh, I just went to Central Station to be honest, not much around there. Um, I'm sure it's a great city, I just don't have much time for it. And I'm a bit over cities. Onwards and upwards, Como. Well, hopefully this is recording and you can hear me. This is your typical Italian collection point, <laughs> your toll. It's the only place in Europe I've ever seen all these uh, tolls. But anyhow, uh, this is to get to Como, which is in the background. Those beautiful mountains you may be able to see. And I also learnt, don't worry about the queues, just go right down the middle and filter, stuff them. Seriously, because I don't mean to be rude, but that's what other motorcyclists were doing. And I was sitting in the heat for half an hour earlier, even though the audio didn't work. Anyway, onwards and upwards. Wow, this is a really zigzaggy road. Up to Bernate. Totally getting all the gears wrong. You expect this in Switzerland. But wait till you see the view that I'm seeing in the corners. Okay, I've arrived in uh, Lake Como, and this is uh, Eleanor's house, so it's an Airbnb, and uh, I think it's Calicciori, it's in Brunate, in Brunate, so that's Lake Como, um, well that's Como City, and that's Lake Como, 
and I'll be honest no picture that I take today will do any justice to how beautiful that is out into the mountains the Alps snow on the Alps right in the background very hard to see on camera easy to see I'll try and take a picture and add it and there you have it that's Pranate and Lake Como getting a uh, funicular which takes me down to Como it's inside the funicular Sorry about the wind, I know it's a bit windy, but look at the view. Forget about the wind, forget about the wind. Look at the view. This is Lake Como. How beautiful. And, that, and that's where I'm living. Up there. The actual town of Como itself is basically a version, if you like, of pathways and malls similar to what you would see in Venice with shops everywhere, you know, beautiful things. And they've also got a, a bit of historical material here. But I mean, everything centers around the lake, yeah? There's a bit of a uh, parade going on here in uh, Como. Have a look, eh? I feel like I'm in the Mardi Gras in Sydney. <laughs> it's almost identical. the real stuff and it's all granita mango granita this is the uh, main plaza in Como surrounded by the church This is a really good thing to buy, Granita. This is mango flavored, two euro 70, best drink ever. Okay, for eight euro 90, you can do a one hour tour, just of the area. And, uh, And 
finally that's where I'm staying just there somewhere about there and uh, coming back home guys for 8 euro 90 this was a great one hour to spend back into Como <laughs> Guys, I have to say, if you come to uh, Como, you're going to have a great time. Uh, wonderful people, beautiful place. And I don't know if you can see, but those little lights, they're the little towns throughout all of Como. It's just beautiful, and the atmosphere is awesome.